Hello, hello, Glenda. Hello, no, no, Noemi. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't join later <laughs> because I have many things to do. How are you today? How's everything, Noemi? Hello, Glenda. good evening, teacher. Hi, Glenda. Hello, good evening. How's everything? Everything good? Mm, so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. So, you work or you, right now you don't work? I'm working in my house. Ah, okay, that's nice, very excellent. That's good. Okay, so it's better because you have better schedule. <laughs> nice, it's according with the schedule. You can, you can adapt. El horario lo puede adaptar. Okay, so we are, we are gonna start because we have many things to do today. <clears throat> I'm gonna share the PowerPoint presentation. Let me see, from seven to eight, right? Here, okay, because I have many, many, many files open. Okay, so good. That's nice, very good. So, something you remember about yesterday? What do you remember? Yes? ¿Qué estudiamos? What did we study yesterday? Something you remember? Huh? Conversation or something else? Ah, Glenda, creo que se salió. Okay, so Naomi, what do you remember about yesterday class? Something you remember? No me conecté, teacher, ayer. Ah, okay, yesterday you didn't, you didn't uh, connect. Okay, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, it's okay. Thank you so much. The online English program, welcome to the English class for intermediate module two, online English program. The session is the 11th, November 15th, 2023. Okay, then we have uh, the general information, uh, the schedule, facilitator's name, and so on. Then we have uh, the agenda. Uh, okay. Today, okay. okay, very good, excellent. I know that you have a uh, listening in parentheses, very good. Now, day 11th, uh, November 15th, uh, 2023. We have a degree, welcome, instructions, review, warm up, attendance, snapshot, conversation, grammar focus, vocabulary, platform exercise, and we have the topic Have you ever written a comment and feedback? Close it and five minutes for advices. Then we have uh, the general, uh, the specific objective. Asking for Naomi. Uh, ¿Será que me ayuda a leer, Naomi? Please. No, Amy. Ah, no, Amy. No, Amy. Yes, the specific objective, asking for and getting information. Asking uh, for and getting information using modifier, modifiers ah. with participants and preposition, these cool activities you have done, mm -hmm. a snap, a snapshot and grammar focus. Complete yes. some grammar exercise in the platform uh -huh. and identify activities in familiar scenarios. Scenarios uh -huh. and practice model dialogue. How do you Dialogue. 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 Dialogue for creating uh -huh. personal conversation. Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Dialogues, right? Dialogues is a synonym for conversations. Conversations. Okay, here we go. Uh, in a second, here we go. Now, what are we doing today? So uh, we have uh, the first auditive, the second auditive, and the third auditive, right? Okay, can you help me to read, please? Uh, uh, Glenda, participants will be able to. The first auditive, please, Glenda. Okay, and el, el negro, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, the black one. Yes, the black one. Okay. <laughs> Participant will be able to review huh? the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about people description with participles and prepositions. Huh? Yes, uh, participles and prepositions, right? Okay, okay, Miguel, can you help me to read the blue one, the second objective for today? Please, Miguel. Okay, teacher. 
participant will be able to talk about activities you have done, practice, and create a conversation based in a model dialogue. dialogue. Complete reading exercise and listen. Yes, dialogue, right? A model dialogue, a model conversation. And then you have uh, also a activities you have done, uh -huh, practice and create a conversation. Okay, that's nice, very good. Uh, okay, and the last objective, please. Uh, can you help me to read, uh, Romel? Repeat song, please. Repeat some vocabulary expressions. Complete some exercise in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assignment. Uh, okay, excellent, very good. Thank you, thank you so much. And then we have uh, these homework assignments. Do you remember the homework? <laughs> okay, so the, in this homework, we have uh, these words and we have examples, right? Now, can you help me to read the examples, uh, Roberto Carlos? The, this one, the words, however, in spite of, despite. Uh -huh. Hi, Roberto Carlos, are you available to talk? Uh, yes, teacher. However, in spite of, despite, even though. Okay. However, in spite of, despite, even though, on the one hand, on the other hand, while on the contrary, in comparison. Comparison. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Roberto Carlos. Uh, can you help, Ruth Abigail, can you help me to read this one? Or, either, or, neither, nor, please. Or, either, or, mm -hmm. neither, nor, uh -huh, perfect. whether, uh -huh. or, or, else, uh, otherwise. Otherwise. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, now, so you're going to tell me one example for expressing contrast and one example for expressing alternatives, right? Do you remember the homework? You forgot about this homework? That was from the last Thursday. Thursday, right? From the last Thursday. Now, an example. Let's see who. Uh, I don't know if Glenda has an example. Please. Do you have an example, Glenda, about these words? Usando esas palabras y van a hacer una oración, ¿verdad? Similar to this example. Um, usando las palabras. However, in spite of, despite, even though, similar to this one. Oh, se le olvidó. <laughs> Sinceramente no la hice, teacher, es que ahora okay. no estuve en mi casa. Ah, okay. Okay, no problem. It's okay. Okay. Uh, Noemi Salazar? Uh, yes, um, yes, teacher. Um, yeah. In spite of? Uh -huh. In spite of? Uh -huh. It's raining. She wants to go up. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. In spite of. Even, even though. Uh, even though. Uh -huh. Even though. Uh huh. The yes. the weather is bad. I want to go up. Okay. The weather is bad. Okay. 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 Even though. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Noemi. Now another a uh, person who um who complete this task, complete this homework. This homework was from the last Thursday, right? From the last Thursday. Okay, I don't know, maybe Miguel, or you haven't done it. No, teacher. Not yet. No. Ah, okay. No. okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, this is the homework. This, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember, I'm, I'm going to show you the picture in the WhatsApp group. Okay, give me a second. Okay, now another person, maybe Rommel, <laughs> maybe. Did okay. you do the last homework? Sí, solo que no las hice con todas las palabras, solo con algunas. Sí, solo es una, Ajá, solo una. Okay, Rommel y después María José. Okay, I run, I run in the park while my sister reel. Ah, yes, very good, right, while my sister Okay. okay, that's it. Yes? Okay. Yes. 
Okay, now the Maria Jose, can you read your example, please? Yes, I, my cat is more naughty in comparison to my dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, very in comparison with my dog. Okay, that's nice, very good. Another person, Saul, Alejandro, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Sí, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Cualquiera. Yes. Any any of those expressions? Uh, in comparison. In comparison. Uh -huh. In comparison. My shoes are mm -hmm. small compare com, compare to oh. yours compare to yours uh -huh. very good excellent okay what else okay only that okay yes it compares with you right okay now uh, another example maybe no i don't know if roberto carlos no no le he preguntado roberto carlos maybe you have an example on on not yet hello Tabiana la hecho. Robert, Robert, Robert. Okay, no, not yet, Robert. Okay, uh, okay, no problem. Uh, Ruth Abigail, I don't know if you have an example, Raúl. Uh, Ruth, Ruth Abigail. Sí, um, I have to get up early to to university, uh -huh. otherwise I won't be able to get in the class. Ah, okay, get into the class. Okay, that's nice, very good. Uh, so that's nice. Okay, be able to. I'm uh, being able to, be able to. Okay, uh, somebody else? Teacher, me? Yes, okay. Would yes. you like tea or coffee? Uh huh. Huh? Okay, would you like tea or coffee, right? Okay, perfect, excellent. Uh, I don't know if Manuel Alexander has the homework or, or an example. Uh, my brother is very tall in comparison. Uh, my, my sister. My sister, okay, very good. That's nice, very good. Uh, Manuel, somebody else, Alguien más? Hector Enrique, I don't know if you have one example about the homework. Or not yet. Teacher, excuse me, uh, not yet. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, let's see who else. Who's missing? Uh, okay, excellent. Very good, Mario Ernesto. Okay, listening. Uh, Karen Elizabeth, maybe an example? The last example. Maybe? Teacher, estoy en mi trabajo todavía. Okay, no, okay, okay. No, no problem, Karen. No problem. Okay, so, okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So when you, okay, okay. So we're gonna continue with uh, your manual because we have many things to do today. So in your manual, you have a, this information about, okay, yesterday we were talking about descriptions. We were talking about people description, right? Do you remember this listening? Do you remember the listening about uh, about this? About which one is she? Do you remember the listening? Huh? Oh no, we didn't listen. Yes, right, we listened. ¿Verdad que la escuchamos? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent, very good. Now you are going to listen the pronunciation again, one more time. So, así rapidito. Give me a second. Okay, so we're going to listen this pronunciation. Give me a second, please. Okay, I'm looking for the audio. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The intermediate. Now the conversation, right? I think it's this one. Let me, uh, oops. Okay, give me a second. No, is the first conversation, right? No, no, it's the second one, right? Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> uh, 
I think it's this. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Uh, no, it's not that Page one. 64. It's not that one. I am in the wrong pre intermediate, right? Okay, let's check it out. If it is this. One. Exercise 8. Conversation. Which one is she? Which one is Part she? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, so uh, so we have a good to see you, right? Good to see you. Where is Maggie? She couldn't make it. ¿Qué significaba she couldn't make it? Do you remember? Do you remember the meaning of she couldn't make it? Huh? Do you remember the meaning of she couldn't make it? Is clear or is not clear? Que no pudo hacerlo. Uh -huh. um, but what? The meeting or what? Uh -huh. Yes, it's similar. It's similar. Very, very similar. Que ella no pudo. No pudo llegar. No pudo eh, ir, ¿verdad? She couldn't make it. Ella no lo logró. O sea, se refiriéndose. She didn't go there, right? She went to a concert, remember, concert with letter, uh, as a letter A, right? Concert with Alex, right? He went to a concert with Alex. Cancer. Este es como una, ah, make it. Se une la K con la I, ¿verdad? Make it. Good to see you. Uh, why you don't go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone. Anyone here? <clears throat> okay, what's going on? Anyone here? Which one is she? Is the woman wearing glasses over there? Over there, for allá. She's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. I didn't, uh, oh, I like to meet her, right? Meet her, because the letter H is mute, is silent. So meet her, right? Okay, that's nice, very good. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna send you to the breakup rooms, and so you're gonna practice the conversation, okay? Está bien? La, no la practicamos ayer, verdad, o sí? So, did we practice the conversation or no? We didn't. Yes. No. We, pra yes. we practice in the breakup room. Yes, we did, teacher. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, no problem. Okay. So, we're going to move to the part B, the listening. Okay. Very good. It's okay. Now, can you, Lucia, hello, Lucia. Are you in your house or you are going to your house? Mm, in your house. I'm going. Yes. Are you going? Oh, in the bus. In the bus. Okay, no problem. So, uh, Karen Elizabeth Cruz, can you help me to read this instruction? Listen to the rest. Hello, Karen. Hello. Hello, teacher. Sigo en el empleo. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, no problem. Es que no, como no, no sé qué qué está trabajando. No me acuerdo. Okay, so it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. En esos casos, podemos ponerle ahí en paréntesis, working. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, let me see who. Okay, Manuel Alexander, can you help me to read, please? Listen to the rest of the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to the, rest, to the rest of the conversation. Level Joe, Michiko, Rosa, and John in the picture. Uh -huh. Level, level. Level is etiquette, right? Level who is Joe, who is Michiko, who is Rosa, and who is John. You're going to listen to the descriptions and you're going to uh, identify who is Joe, who is Michiko, who is Rosa, and who is John. Is okay? Is clear what are you going to do? Is clear? Okay, is clear? Or not Page clear? 61, exercise 8, Give me a second. part B. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, okay, it's clear what are we gonna do right now? Let me who, let me see who. Uh, okay, let, okay. Maria Jose is clear. What are we gonna do? Yes. Yes. 
Oh, no, no clear. No, no. Hola. Hi. Is clear what are we gonna do, Maria Jose? Is clear or oh, no, no clear? The activity is clear? Yo no entendí, teacher. Okay, so it's okay. So listen to the rest of the conversation. You're gonna listen and you mm -hmm. have to label. You're gonna tell me who is Joe, who is Michiko, and who is Rosa. For example, for example, imagine you are gonna tell me she is Rosa. She, she, this girl is Rosa. Okay, or yeah. for example, you can tell me, um, uh, for example, you can tell me he is a John, for example. You are going to listen to the description and you are gonna identify the people. Okay, it's clear now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Glenda, ¿qué vamos a hacer, Glenda, ahorita? What are we gonna do? Identificar las las personas. personas. The people, right? Okay, excellent, very good, Glenda. You are going to listen, and okay. So give me a second. Let's just start. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Label Joe, Michiko, Rosa, and John in the picture. Let's see, who else is here? Do you know Joe? He's really nice. No, I don't. Which one is he? He's over there. He's the one wearing white pants and... And a yellow polo shirt? That's right. And then there's Michiko Sasaki. She works with me at the office. Oh, which one is Michiko? She's the woman in black pants and a green sweater. She's wearing glasses. Yeah, I see her. She's the one talking to Joe, right? Uh-huh. And who are those two people dancing? Oh, that's my best friend. Her name is Rosa. She's really nice. That's an interesting purple dress. She's dancing with John DuPont, her new boyfriend. John is Rosa's boyfriend? Yeah. Say, didn't you want to meet Julia? Uh, I'm sorry, but which one is Julia again? Okay, now listen, one more time. You're going to listen one more time, okay? Page 61. John is Rosa's boyfriend, right? Yes. Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Label Joe, Michiko, Rosa, and John in the picture. Let's see, who else is here? Do you know Joe? He's really nice. No, I don't. Which one is he? He's over there. He's the one wearing white pants and... And a yellow polo shirt? That's right. And then there's Michiko Sasaki. Okay, who is Joe? What is he wearing? What does he look like? Yellow, huh? uh, yellow polo shirt. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So yes, a polo. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, tell me. Dígame, no hay problema que se equivoque. Uh -huh, yes, right. He's wearing a yellow polo shirt. Y el único yellow es este, ¿verdad? Este de aquí. So he's John, right? So he is John. I'm going to, I'm going to write it. Uh, John. Ah, no, Joe. Joe. Joe is the name. Okay, Joe. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue to listen. She works with me at the office. Oh, which one is Michiko? She's the woman in black pants and a green sweater. She's wearing glasses. Yeah, I see her. Okay, what is Michiko wearing? What is... What does she look like? No? Do you wanna... Uh, black oh. pants, dijo. Uh-huh. Black um, pants? What else? Gray... Like Square green. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. She is Michiko. Sunglasses. And sunglasses, right? Michiko. Casi no se ve. Okay, Michiko. Uh -huh. Okay, Michiko. She is Michiko, he is Joey. Now, let's continue. She's the one talking to Joe, right? Uh-huh. And who are those two people dancing? Oh, that's my best friend. Her name is Rosa. She's that's really... My, that's my best friend. Her name is Rosa, right? Nice. That's an interesting purple dress. She's dancing with John DuPont. Her... Okay. What is uh, she doing and what is she wearing? 
Huh? Yes, tell me. Uh -huh. Rosa is wearing what? What is a Rosa wearing? Dress. A purple dress, right? She's dancing and wearing a purple dress. And finally, uh, let's, let's... New listen. boyfriend. John is Rosa's boyfriend? Yeah. Say, didn't you want to meet Julia? Uh, I'm sorry, but which one is Julia again? Okay, so uh, John, is John dancing with Rose? Yes, is he is he John? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Very good. Do you have any questions so far? No questions. No. Let's move on to the grammar focus. Page sixty-two, exercise nine, grammar focus. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Participles. Who's Raul? He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Prepositions. Who's Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. Okay, do you have any question with vocabulary? No. Okay, we have uh, the participles. In the participles, are ing. Now we have uh, participles. <clears throat> In these participles, uh, for example, we have uh, a... Like, give me a second, I need to change the color. Okay, in the participles, that means that you are using ing. ing, talking, wearing, wearing a green shirt, talking to, to Liz. And we have our prepositions. In the prepositions, so uh, we use the prepositions with, in, next to the window, on the couch, in the sofa, on the sofa, right? With short black hair in jeans. So uh, we are using these modifiers with Participles and prepositions. Now, can you help me to read the question and the answer? Vamos a ver. Volunteers. Uh, okay. Um, vamos a empezar desde arriba. Uh, okay, Glenda, can you help me to read the first question and the first answer, please? Teacher, bueno. what is the meaning? What is the meaning of the which one is Julia? Okay, which one is Julia? Is for example, what person is Julia? What person oh. is Julia? Yes. Which one is Julia? De su, de su personalidad o de su físico? Physically. Both. Actually, both. Both. Okay. Okay. So. ¿Qué voy a leer, teacher? Perdón. This one. Uh, whose role is the man? This one. The question and the answer. Okay. Who, whose role is the man? Hmm? Yes. He's the man. Right. The man. Okay. Nick. Excellent. Very good. Can you help me to read the next one, please? Uh, let me see who. Uh, Elizabeth Pineda, please. Elizabeth Pineda. Because, okay, sí. Mario is listening. Uh -huh. Raul. Uh -huh. He's the one talking to? He's Sigue. the one talking to Liz. Excellent. He's the one talking to Liz, right? So he's the man wearing a green shirt. The participle is wearing. He's the one talking to Liz. Talking is the participle, the one, the one, right? Now, the next one. Uh, can you help me to read the question and the answer, please? Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, Hector Enrique Guzmán, me ayuda. Okay, okay who's uh, this one? And all the answer, right? This one and this Just one. the woman with short black hair. Who's Liz? She's, she's the woman with short black hair. Here we are using the prepositions. So we're using uh, modifiers with prepositions, right? Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, thank you so much. Me ayuda a leer Jessica Lizette Campos. Ah, no, listen. Karen Elizabeth Cruz. Ah, Está temblando. Really? Karen Elizabeth, you're in your working. Está fuerte. Está fuerte el temblor. Ah, yes, I feel it now. Yes, I feel it now, the earthquake. So relax, relax. Okay, don't be panic. 
brief. Okay, so relax. So maybe it's not gonna be a big quake. It's not gonna be a big earthquake. So take it easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did it pass? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But ya pasó. Yeah, ya pasó. Okay, that's nice. So okay, so uh sometimes in this in November it's very common to have quakes, to have earthquakes, right? It's very common to have earthquakes. Airquakes like this. Okay, so are you okay? Every everyone is okay. Okay, you're not okay. Yes. 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 Sure. Okay, that's nice. Very good. So, can we continue? Shall we? Are you okay? Can Can we continue with the class? Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> no, no, say that because algunos les da miedo. That's not the miedo. <laughs> okay. So she's listening. She's listening. Stephanie is listening. Majo is listening, right? Okay, Manuel Alexander Aviles, can you help me with the next one? Which one is Julia? Uh, she's the tall one in jeans. She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They are the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They are the ones on the couch. So it's clear what is what are the participles and what are the prepositions? It's clear? Okay. Now, rewrite these statements using modifiers with participles or prepositions, right? Clark, okay, I'm gonna lie here because you're gonna tell me that it's blurry. Okay, rewrite these statements using modifiers with participles or prepositions, okay? Now, the first example, uh, can you help me with the first example, please? Roberto Carlos Cartagena? With example number one, Clark is the tall guy. Uh, uh, read the number yes. one. Yes. The answer, Clark is tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. And the answer, yes. Clark is the tall guy, el muchacho also, the tall guy, wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants, right? Okay, excellent, very good. So, ¿cuál es el limit? ¿Qué palabras quitamos de la número uno? Hmm? His. Uh -huh. Huh? Y entonces quitamos his, this one, que lo quitamos este, ¿cuál otro? ¿Solo ese? ¿Solo quitamos ese? Ah, uh, hello, hello. Right now you are very quiet. Okay, so, Clark is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants, right? Excellent, very good. Now, these ones, no sé si, la, si las dejo de tarea para mañana o las hacemos ahorita. Hagámoslas ahorita. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Adam and Luis are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Uh -huh. So, what is the possible answer for the number two? Adam and Luis are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Primero sería bueno identificar que si estamos utilizando participles o prepositions, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, for example, here we are using this participle. We are using talking, right? And here, line is the young girl. She, she's in a striped t-shirt. Okay, aquí está la preposition. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting. Aquí tenemos el participle. Uh, AJ is the serious looking boy. He's playing. Aquí tenemos el participle, present participle. El ING form, right? Now, Adam and Luis are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. What is the possible answer? ¿Qué quitamos entonces? ¿Mm? ¿Qué debemos de quitar? ¿No? Hello? So, hello? So, they? Okay, no. quitamos they. Vamos a ver. They. Adam and Miss are the good-looking couple talking to Tom. Yes. Yes, right? Yes. 
Adam okay. and Miss are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Okay. What about the number three? Lynn. Lynn is the young girl. She's in a stripped t shirt and blue jeans. Entonces, ¿qué quitamos? She's. She's. She's, she's verdad. She is. Yes. Okay. Lynn is the young girl in a striped t shirt and blue jeans. Excellent. Very good. Now, the number four. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio, right? She's two. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yes. She, Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio, right? Okay. Yeah. And the number five, AJ. AJ. Uh, so you have a AJ. Uh, is the serious looking boy? He's playing a video game. Huh? She's two. She's she yes he's, ella. He's 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 uh -huh, he's quitamos he's porque yes. she is ella verdad he's yes. AJ is the he's. serious looking boy playing a video game. Los de celeste son los que quitamos porque tenemos estos de rojos. Okay. Questions okay. so far? Do you have any question? Tiene dudas preguntas con eso? No. No questions? Right. Okay, very good. No questions. Okay, now we are going to listen this part. Pronunciation. Contrastive. Contrasted what? Contrastes as stress in responses. This is just for listening, right? No sé si lo alcanzan a ver. Sí, si ¿Sí lo alcanzan a ver. Yes. Okay, now listen, the contrast is stress in response. Give me a second, please. I think it's this. Page 62, exercise 10, pronunciation. Contrast stress in responses. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Okay, now the contrasting stress in responses and las respuestas, el que se pronuncia más fuerte, eh, is for emphasize a contrast, right? Es para enfatizar, para... Um, Hacer más obvio el contraste. So, it's Anthony, the one wearing the red shirt. No, he's the one wearing the black shirt, the contrast. Red shirt, black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Is Judy? No, Diana, right? So, to look at the contrast, right? Okay, we're going to move on. So, this one, no. And we're going to move to the, this, the unit number 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Have you ever ridden a camel? You? What is the meaning of this question? ¿Qué significa esta pregunta? Have you ever ridden a camel? A camel. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lucia, for sending the, the, the screenshots. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay so. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so uh -huh. what is the meaning of have you ever ridden a camel? Alguna que, ¿qué cree que es camel? Camello. Camello. So the question is, ¿Has tú alguna vez, has tú alguna vez montado un camello? ¿Has? Es este. Have you? You, as usted, o tú, alguna vez, es ever, alguna vez, montado un camello? Have you ever ridden a camel? So the answer for this one the answer for have you ever ridden a camel is yes, I have, or no, I haven't, right? Yes, I have because it's a closed question. Or no, I haven't because if we, the answer is negative, right? No, I haven't, like this, okay? It's like when you are using do or does that you answer with the same auxiliary, okay? When you, when you answer with the same auxiliary, like uh, this one, right? So you have these answers. Have you ever ridden a camel? Have you ever ridden a dog? 
Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Uh, have you ever ridden? Uh, what else? So you have, uh, for example, a dog. Cuando uno es pequeño, ese sube el chuchito. Okay, a motorcycle. A motorcycle. A motorcycle. A bicycle. ¿Qué más? A bicycle. Bicycle. Uh -huh. A horse, excellent. A horse, a horse, right? Excellent, right? What about, uh, have you ever, okay, oh, solamente esos, okay? Uh, so you're going to ask the questions. Vamos a ver quién me ayuda a responder, quién me ayuda a responder las preguntas. Uh, vamos a ver, uh, Glenda, hágale una pregunta a Noemi. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Have you ever ridden a dog? Have you ever ridden a bicycle? Have you ever ridden a horse? Only one question. Glenda to Noemi. Okay, Noemi, have you ever ridden a horse? Horse, ridden a horse, ridden. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Excellent, very good. Okay, no, I haven't. Okay, Elizabeth Pineda, ask the question to Hector Enrique. Elizabeth Pineda, have you ever ridden? Have you ever ridden a um, motorcycle? Motor, motorcycle, la distance to la dos vocales o motorcycle. Hector Enrique? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Excellent, very good. Excellent, Enrique. Now, Jessica Lisset, can you ask the question to listener, listener, to Manuel Alexander? Jessica Lisset Campos to Manuel Alexander. Ah, no, Jessica Lisset Campos is. Okay, Manuel Alexander, can you ask the question to Miguel Angel Clemente? Hello, Manuel. Come on. Wake up. <laughs> Manuel to Miguel. Uh, the question, uh, the Rio Verde. Uh, have you ever ridden a dog? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Have you ever ridden a bicycle? One of the questions. One. Um, have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. Miguel? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Excellent. Very good. Roberto Carlos, ask one question to Ruth Abigail. Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Mr. Cartagena to Ruth Abigail Caballero. Roberto Carlos, are you there? Ok, so Rommel, puede hacerle la pregunta a Ruth Abigail, caballero. Okay, ah, okay, ok, Rommel, have you ever ridden? Uh, have you ever ridden a, a dog? A dog, ok, Ruth Abigail, caballero? No, I haven't. No, I haven't, ok, very good. Saúl Alejandro, ¿qué okay, ibas? Saúl Alejandro, ¿qué ibas? The question to Manuel Alexander. Saúl to Manuel. Have you ever ridden bicycle, yeah. a horse, a dog, a motorcycle? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Saúl? No, I don't know. Manuel? No, I haven't. Yes, I have or no, I haven't? No, I haven't. No, I haven't, right? No, I haven't. So uh, here uh, it's like uh, you change the position, right? It's like uh, when you change the position, like when you use uh, do or does, right? For example, have, have. Okay, when you use have, you change the position. Have she, have you. Quiero ver, permítame, quiero hacerle la flechita. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now, have you? You use it here. Yes, I have. And the other one is... Okay. Get over. And the other one is like this. And no me deja. Okay, so you have this one. Okay, have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. And you is for instead of I and have. So you have to switch. The auxiliary how and the and the personal pronoun I or you, right? Now, so you have an entertaining guy, fun fun things to do in New Orleans, New Orleans in, in the United States. Okay, help me to read the different activities. Okay, here we go. Okay, here, 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 help me. Give me a second. Okay, help me to read, please. Um, I'm sorry, can you leave? 
Ah, me traba. Ok, help me to read. Uh, vamos a ver quién. Uh, ok. Um, y vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Okay, Héctor Enrique Guzmán, ¿me ayuda a leer? Please. Ok, teacher. Go to the jazz club. Uh -huh. Take a riverboat tour. Uh -huh. Ride in the streetcar. Uh -huh. Visit a historic home. Uh -huh. Go to the food festival. Go to a food festival. Fest, Go to right? the food festival. Excellent, very good. Go to a jazz club. Club. Take a riverboat tour. Ride in a street cart. Visit a history home. Go to a food festival, right? Now, have you ever done of these ones? Para hacer la pregunta, usted entonces hace la pregunta, por ejemplo, eh, la pregunta la hace así, mire. Have you... Eh, este volado no me deja escribir. Have you... Have you... Y aquí va a poner el verbo y después el complemento. After that, the complement, right? Okay, for example, in this case that you have a go, uh, the verb for go, it will be gone. For take, it will be taken. For write, the past participle for write is going to be uh, going to be written, written, written. And for visit, this is a regular verb. So for visit, this is it. Excellent, very good. This is it. Ya vi que funcionaron la clase del ED. Okay, this is it. Okay, uh, and the go, what is the past participle for go? Um, Aquí al okay. principio está, el primer ejemplo. Gone, gone, gone. right, gone, así gone. como el primero. Gone. Entonces la pregunta usted la hace, have you, have you gone to a jazz club? Have you taken a river boat tour? Have you ridden uh, in, in a street car? Have you visited a storied home? Have you gone to a food festival? En vez del verbo, en vez del verbo este, que lo voy a subrayar ahorita, en vez de este verbo, usted va a poner gone, ¿verdad? En vez de esto, gone. En vez de take, Taken. En vez de ride, rhythm. En vez de visit, visit it. En vez de go, gone. Have you gone to a jazz club? Have you taken a river boat tour? Have you ridden in a streetcar? Have you visited a storied home? Have you gone to a food festival? Ah, uh, tengo dos preguntas aquí. Okay, what I said. Okay, no problem. And Robert, I'm sorry, I'm washing my mouth. Uh, okay, Roberto Carlos, no problem. Okay, Roberto, Roberto and Glenda. No problem. Se ve el chat, por cierto. <laughs> okay, so you are going to ask these questions. Les voy a mandar al breakup room y qué es lo que va eh, a discutir. Va a discutir estas. Ha ido a un club de jazz. Have you gone to a jazz club? Have you taken a river tour? Have you ridden in a streetcar? Have you visited a historic home? History home? And have you ever gone to a food festival, right? Food festival. Okay. Is clear what are you want to do? Te voy a mandar las... And the answer no. is yes, I, I have. No, uh -huh. I haven't. Yes, I oh. have. No, I haven't is the answer. Yes. Okay. Yes, I okay. have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. That's the answer. Uh, Lucia, can you send the screenshot, please? La molesto. Yes, I have. Oh, no, pero eso lo voy a escribir. No, I have. I have. Wait, wait, for long, for long. Okay. So the two possible answers because they are closed questions. So yes, I have. Oh no, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Right. Have you ever gone to a jazz club? En vez de jazz club, ¿qué podríamos decir? En vez de un club de jazz, porque un club de jazz nunca ha ido, ¿verdad? Um, 
soccer match. A soccer match, okay? Soccer match, un partido de fútbol. Have you ever gone to a soccer match? Yes, I have. I yes, have. I have. Yes, I have. Very good. Excellent. Uh, okay, vamos a ver quién más está por aquí. Manuel Alexander. Hello, Manuel. Can you talk? Are you available to talk? Yes. Okay, Manuel Alexander, ask one question to Romel, please. Mm. The rest. Mm. Have you take a riverboat tour? Have you taken? Have you taken, taken tour? A tour? Have you taken a no, tour? No, no. Okay. Yes, I have. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Right? Taking a porque un tour de de bot en río no creo que lo no creo que ni yo. <laughs> Okay, entonces taking a tour, un tour, sí, taking a tour. Okay, uh, let's see. Miguel, one question to Manuel, please. How you visit a store home? Uh, have you visited, visited a history home? Mm. No, I haven't. No, I haven't, okay. Uh, so, uh, Manuel, ask one question to Romel. Have you gone to a food festival? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Ah, okay, that's nice. Where? Where did you go to the food festival? Uh, the festival de chorizo. Ah, okay, in Cojutepeque. Yes. Ah, okay, that's nice. It was nice. It was good. Uh -huh. It's nice. It was nice. Okay, that's nice. Very good. So uh, I need to close the breakout rooms. Okay, here we go. I'm going to close them. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to wait for the other ones, for your classmates to come back. Okay, so here, we, so the questions, here the questions are with have you, right? Have you done this? But the bear, the bear is in past or in past participle? The bear is in past or in past participle that you are using in the questions with present perfect? Is in past or past participle, the bear? Mm -hmm. Past participle. Past participle, right? Past participle of the bear. Okay, uh, in these seven minutes that we uh, have, so I need they come back. Okay, come back people. <laughs> No se me quedan yeah. en los breakout rooms. Ah, sorry. Ah, 15 no, minutes are left, right? Okay, here we go. Este, yes. Por si el auxiliar how siempre viene acompañado de del pasado participio. Yes. How in this case is an auxiliary. How is an auxiliary in this case? Now in this unit we are going to study the present perfect. Camera yeah, focus. Present perfect. Already and yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have and the past participle. O sea que este pasado participio utilizamos el auxiliar have. Mire, en este caso, usted lo conoce como tener, ¿verdad? Have y has. ¿Con cuál utilizamos have y con cuál utilizamos? Bueno, ¿con cuál utilizamos has? Con, with which study pronouns do you use has? I have. I have. I have y has. Has. I has. I have. I have. She and it. Lo utilizamos con he, con she, she and it. En it. Have, con lo usamos con you, we, con we y con they, ¿verdad? Usamos con they. ¿Ve? Miren. Have they, have you, have we, have I, has he, has she. Entonces, este, en este caso, el have, el verbo tener, es el verbo haber. Funciona como un auxiliar. Entonces, como funcionando como un auxiliar, eh, por ejemplo, decimos, I, I have been to several. I have been to several. Yo he estado muchas veces. Y la pregunta sería, have you been to a jazz club? ¿Has tú estado en un club de jazz? Y es, I have been to several. En este caso, have es el auxiliar. No es que yo tengo estado, no. Y el verbo va a ir siempre en pasado participio, ¿verdad? La forma negativa es utilizando not 
con el have, uniendo los dos. I haven't o I have not been to one. I haven't been to a jazz club. I haven't been to one. Entonces, el have, que dijimos que era? Auxiliar o verbo principal? Auxiliar. Auxiliary, right? Entonces, el have, en este caso, para el presente perfecto, está haciendo lo que hacía el do, el das y el did. El do, uh -huh. el das y el did. En este caso, did. ajá, por ejemplo, as to estado. A el llamado a casa recientemente. Has he called home lately? Has he called home lately? Yes, he has. En este caso no es he is. Es he has called twice this week. ¿Cómo vamos a saber que este no es is, sino que es he has? Por lo que le sigue, por el contexto de la oración. Porque no puede decir, ha él llamado a casa recientemente? Sí, él es llamado dos veces en esta semana. No, ¿verdad? No puede ser es llamado. Entonces, este se entiende que he his es el he has, pero, pero contractado. In a contracted form. Has he called home lately? Yes, he has called twice this week. ¿Ha él llamado a casa recientemente? Sí, él ha llamado dos veces esta semana. No es él es, sino que él has. He has. Él ha llamado, ¿verdad? Have they eaten dinner yet? Para hacer la pregunta tenemos que empezarla con have, mire, o con has para he, para she, para it. Yes, they have already eaten. They have, aquí está el auxiliar, y este es el verbo principal. Note que el verbo principal lo va a utilizar en pasado participio. En pasado participio va a usar los verbos. Por ejemplo, de eat, eat. De be, been, estado. De eat, comer, comido. Y de call es llamado, ¿verdad? Pero call es verbo regular. Todos los verbos regulares... El, tanto el pasado simple como el pasado participio terminan con ed, code, ok, terminan con ed. Eh, no creo que quede tan claro ahorita porque les estoy explicando así a, así a la ligera, porque ya, ya se acabó el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, mañana vamos a seguir viendo este del pasado participio eh, y de los, del present perfect, ¿está bien? Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Van bien? ¿Van más o menos? Sí, solo me faltan los dos últimos. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, por, por eso estamos viendo ahorita la última unidad. Estamos viendo esta última unidad. La estoy adelantando un poquito, sí. Pero siento de que sí, entonces para poderla ver y entonces para que ustedes continúen en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Es importante completar eh, por lo menos el 80% de la plataforma. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta, pues eh, me puede consultar. Ok, so see you tomorrow, people. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, take care. God bless you. Okay, may, thank you. Thank you. May God bless you as well. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Thanks, thanks teacher.